of shit. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if I'm getting a glare on there. Take a look at that. That is an emissions readiness all complete. The main thing we're looking at down here is this EGR system pass. That's the uh, emissions readiness test. Those are my gauges. And the current drive cycle is totally complete as well. Um, so let me show you how uh, in my other video, earlier in the morning I uh, replaced the EGR valve because I had a kind of an intermittent EGR valve. And I was able to uh, get this thing to complete in 50 miles. Because that's my current above it, you know, and it, where it says the T right there. That's my uh, trip trip odometer, and it's uh, 51 miles. So let me uh, tell you how I, how I did it. Um, so I live in Costa Mesa, California, and I drove down to San Juan Capistrano. And that was about 25 miles down. I kept it under 65, kind of steady. I was kind of going from like 45 to 60, but making sure that I went slowly, you know, not fast, not like, you know, not punching the gas. Um, and then I actually parked down in San Juan Capistrano, um, turned the engine off, and, you know, I let it cool off. I mean, I actually had I had dinner down there, you know, what's it called, Ricardo's place. And, um, you know, then I checked it again. It still wasn't complete. You know, I started stressing out. I was like, shit, I hope this thing completes because, um, you know, the last time I had driven about 275 miles or 280 miles before it sort of went complete, uh, you know, partially. Um, so on the way back, driving back, so which is another 25 miles back, I pulled off the freeway a few times, like uh, four different times. And... The reason why I did that is so I could slowly accelerate up to like 60 miles per hour. So very slowly I'd creep up from a total standstill up to like 60 miles per hour. And I did that about four times and then, um, you know, I, I, when I got to about the uh, 42 mile mark, I got it all complete. So I did that in less than, I mean about 50 miles. So less than 50 miles I was able to get a, do a complete drive cycle. EGR pass because this morning um, I cleared all the codes. So once you clear all the codes, you know you have to do a complete drive cycle again. So I am very very happy. So um, this this morning I basically was getting a soft. I wasn't getting a hard code, so my my check engine light never came on. But I got a soft code EGR, and I would finally got a soft code. Like I had driven this car for 275 miles and never got a soft code. But not all scanners will give you a soft code. Um, like for some reason, this Torque app has these cool like EGR monitor, you know, the readiness test. But I couldn't pull a soft; it wouldn't give me a soft code. But the, re the way I knew is let me turn the light on here. You can see that. But I actually had a. Uh, if you saw it in my other previous video this morning when I did the EGR test, this gave me a P0405, and this is a Innova 3100. But it actually has a special light sucks but it has a special like emissions tester on it which is good for reading soft codes so <sighs> awesome awesome man now, tomorrow I'm gonna get the thing smogged first thing in the morning hopefully this is still all complete and all good and I can finally get this thing registered man so holy shit <laughs>